ES Audio. Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, how you can spot a lunar event this week. Now, let's get into it. The Treasury Committee says that consumer cryptocurrency trading should be regulated as gambling. In a new report, the cross-party group of MPs said crypto assets, such as Bitcoin, are being used by criminals in scams and money laundering. They say it poses significant risks to consumers and retail trading in unbacked crypto more closely resembles gambling than a financial service, so should be regulated as such. It comes after the government announced proposals earlier this year to regulate the industry. Your iPhone will soon be able to replicate your voice in just 15 minutes. Apple has unveiled an upcoming new feature called the Personal Voice, which is expected to be part of iOS 17. It's aimed at helping those who are at risk of losing their voice, such as people with neurological conditions. It'll work with the live speech feature to allow users to record their voices and communicate with others on audio calls or platforms such as FaceTime. The co-founder of a startup that's created the first certified fully flushable period pads has told us that she hopes the product will help reduce waste sent to landfill. Every single pad that has been used in the past still exists, which to me is shocking because something that is used for eight hours should not stick around for over 500 years. And that to me is us mislabeling something as disposable. Dr. Olivia Ahn, who set up the company Fluce, told us it's taken five years to get their product ready. She said the pads are equivalent to flushing 12 sheets of toilet tissue and they're made with layers of plant fibers, biopolymers and tree sap to absorb fluids. They're designed to be absorbent during use but also degrade in a flush using something called flush tech as Olivia explains. The entire period at most can go up to around 80 to 100 mils which is across the five to seven days whereas one of your toilet flushes is around sort of six and a half litres in comparison to the amount of liquid across your entire period the volume and the hydraulic action really is where you get the difference. She told us the pads also offer a solution when toilets don't have the right facilities. In our research, we've seen that over half of people that have periods have struggled to find an appropriate place to dispose of period products. So that's in itself not even an eco issue, it's an intrinsic hygiene issue. Now you've got a chance at spotting a lunar phenomenon this week known as the Da Vinci Glow. This is when the crescent part of the moon glows brightly and the dark side of the moon is visible as an overcast. The glow is actually created by light from Earth, which can illuminate the night sky 50 times more brightly than that of the full moon. The celestial event is visible only when there's a crescent moon on the horizon at sunrise or sunset, and experts say this weekend is a good time to see it. It's named after the artist and inventor Leonardo da Vinci because he tried to solve the mystery of what was once known as Earthshine. Scientists say that a global temperature record of 1.5 degrees Celsius is more likely than not in the next five years. The World Meteorological Organization says there's a 66% chance of this temperature being recorded at least once between now and 2027, which would mark the first time in human history. The current record is 1.28 degrees Celsius. But if a 1.5 degrees Celsius temperature rise is recorded, it wouldn't mean the target set during the Paris Agreement would be lost, as the global average temperature would need to exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius many more times before the climate can be said to have permanently warmed to that level. Twitter owner Elon Musk has made his thoughts known on remote working again. He says it's morally wrong because it's unfair to those who aren't able to. In an interview with CNBC in the US, the billionaire criticised the hypocrisy of expecting service industry workers to go into work while others have the privilege of working from home. The tech mogul imposed a strict policy in Tesla in June 2022, warning employees that they would lose their jobs if they did not comply. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, Bumblebee workouts and could a nap unlock your creativity? Why not hit rate and follow in the meantime? Welcome back. Turns out that carrying pollen is a workout for bumblebees and that it significantly increases their body temperature. A study from North Carolina State University in the US suggests this new understanding raises questions about how the insects will be impacted by climate change. 
The researchers say the findings indicate that carrying a full load of pollen on a hot day puts bees at greater risk of reaching the potentially lethal end of their temperature tolerance. Facebook and Instagram paid verification has started being rolled out in the UK. Similar to Twitter Blue, the service gives users a blue tick from £9.99 a month. Subscribers must be at least 18 years old and submit a government ID to qualify. And finally. A study has found that you're more likely to come up with innovative solutions to problems after a very short nap. Researchers from MIT and the Harvard Medical School say that the creative mind is particularly fertile when drifting between sleep and waking, a state known as sleep onset. The study published in the journal Scientific Reports demonstrates for the first time that when people are prompted to dream about a particular topic during this sleep phase, they perform much more creatively when later asked to perform tasks around it. It's thought the findings may lead to new ways of boosting creativity and treating nightmare-related stress. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader Podcast from the Evening Standard. We'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.